So today we're going to be talking about some of the most common weeds that we're seeing a lot of this year. And I'm here with Jan McNeil, and, and you've, you've done us the honor of picking some from your very own garden, haven't you? They're fresh. <laughs> They're fresh weeds. They really are. So first of all, let's go over what some of these are, and then we'll talk about ways to get rid of them. Sure. Well, this is pretty common. Um, it's actually called Stinky Robert. Nice. Because it is really pungent. And, and you either like the smell of it or you don't. It's easy to pull. Um, it, it's a geranium family. You uh -huh. can see the crane's bill here. Um, and, and it's really, really common. So we have it all over the place. And we don't have it in the beds as much as we have it on the perimeter of the property. Yeah. We have a lot of native area here, too. Here's the bane of my existence <laughs> is... Potentilla. Oh. And I know potentillas are sold at shrubs. They're different than yeah. this weed. And this this spreads by underground runners um, and, the, and it has a multi root s system and it's tough to so pull. So not as easy as the other it's one. It's to tough pull to pull unless the soil is really moist. Uh -huh. um, and so um, this one is one that you don't want to let it go to seed. And if you've got it in the lawn, keep mow enough that you've got the seed yeah. heads gone. This is a little bugger, but what's that one? It looks like willow leaves. Willow leaf, fireweed, same okay. idea. But it's not a willow at all. No, <laughs> no. Um, my neighbor up the street came and asked me if it's something that got planted in his yard or <laughs> did he, because he likes the flower, yeah. the uh, big, tall, spiky, purpley flower. There again, it's easy to pull. Yeah. It's easy to pull and it's easy to see. This is almost a pretty foliage there. Yeah, this is just a wild geranium. You'll see it in the uh, And there are the a beds. lot of geraniums that tend to be weedy, aren't there? there? They are, but then this one, you may not think of it as weedy, and you may want to leave it. Uh -huh. So you don't want to necessarily pull everything. And then these are everywhere. They Luckily, are. they get tall enough, um, tall enough to... Uh, to pull. And then you say, how did that get to be three feet yeah. tall overnight? But the root systems are very small. And you've got, you've, Jan, you've got to tell me the name of this one because I'm going to laugh. Trail plant. And what's the other name? Nipplewort. <laughs> that's the one you want that, me to that's say. That's the one I want. And I got you I too. I know, so I know. That, that's pretty. You've got to laugh at the names that's of some the of these. That's the one. Now, the, I didn't make that up. It's, no, it's in the book, Weeds of the West. And that's a great book too. It yeah. is. And it's you don't have to have this in your library. Most any help desk at any yeah. nursery, independent nursery, has a copy of it. So if you've got a weed, you can go in and likely the co common weeds will be in there. They're going to be in there. You know, and I think that any person who loves to garden knows this stuff. Yeah, it's it sticks it's to the, you. Thanks. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> we're, we're gardeners and fashion designers. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, this is bed straw. The kids, my grandkids, love it. Um, they run around, stick it on each other. And it actually was used for that at a time. Well, actually, it literally is called bed straw because you could pull it and put throw a quilt over it or something and um, a blanket and use it uh -huh. to to lay on. And also in nature is interesting because it's so sticky. Uh, the seed heads are sticky. Uh -huh. Dogs, animals, us, oh. everything carry the seed to another place because it sticks to them and it procreates the, the plant. Yeah, well now, a lot of these that we've discussed, and these really are some very, very common ones in most gardens, but these, most of these are pretty simple to pull out. They are, they are. And if you, if you do that, let, let's go over some of the things that we can do to to keep weeds under control. And you mentioned timing earlier to me. That's an important part, isn't well, it? Yeah, sure. Timing, number one, before they go to seed. Yeah. That's the best time. And also in, in our climate, uh, in the Willamette Valley's climate, in the wetter climates, when it, the soil is still moist yep. enough that you can pull. Because even a simple one is rough when it's yeah, cake pan right, hard in, right. the, in July just, and if August. If you wait till July, it's going to be harder for the grasses and some of the, the multi-rooted uh, weeds, uh, but if you if you weed in the spring and then get some mulch on yeah. or something down um, so that it doesn't come back, then you're in pretty good shape. And you can you know you can use both a synthetic or a chemical chemical killer if if you think that it's just too much work to go out there right. and pull them. But you know when they're easy like this, it's really better just to pull them out. Right, depends on it, and you got to read the labels carefully yeah. on some of Always. these products because uh, they um, aren't. Some of them, like Casseron, 
you'll, you could use it in an area where you don't want to grow anything. For a long time. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. But it'll keep the weeds yeah. down. You can use products like Preen that, that you can use with established seedlings. Yep. Um, but you, and there's also all of these home remedies that some of them work and some will sterilize your soil j just like the casserole would. Yeah, so it's not necessarily in the soil is yeah. just as bad. It just change, yeah. changes the acidity so much that nothing will grow. Well, you know, if, you, if you're out in your garden and you think, I've, I've got to get rid of some of these weeds, here's a few options for you. You can also go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to the OSU website, which has a lot of weed information. And I feel now that uh, you're probably going to put me to work weeding in your garden. So <laughs> th well, thank you, John. <laughs> there's a, there, this one we haven't started on yet. So there's and a it's project not all for us. weeds. These are plants that we put in here on purpose that we're still going to take that out. That you're still going <laughs> to take out. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jan.